The Toyota Halftime Show. Brought to you by Toyota. Get the most out of your day every day. Once again from the ESPN Zone, Chris Berman. Hello once again, everybody. The Steelers lead the Chiefs 10 to 6 at the half. In the ESPN Top 10 Plays of the Week, just for kicks, hail to the champs, and milestone performances by stars old and new. New stars, TD, Terrell Davis of the undefeated Denver Broncos. In seven games, he already has 1,000 yards, joining the legendary Jim Brown and O.J. Simpson as the only men ever to do it. The incomparable Jerry Rice, first honor play from scrimmage, he caught a pass from Steve Young, 184 straight games, breaking the mark of Art Monk. Remember last December, Reggie Brown, spine injury, resuscitated on the field for the Lions. The emotional moment of the weekend, he returned to the Silverdome to visit his mates yesterday. The moves of the week, Terrell Owens of the Niners on the reverse against the Rams. Watch this at the 10, and at the 5, whoop, the Niners beat the Rams for the 16th straight time. Did they hit like this in the 70s? Boom! Victor Green and the Jets level Steve DeBerg. Jerome Henderson could go all the way. Touchdown, Jets. The catches of the week. What about Mark Brunel? To John Elway? And the spike. And at the World Series, forget the bat. Mark McGuire's got great hands. And speaking of the series, a sweep. They did it with class. They were the best. The New York Yankees, 125 wins. Congratulations. What a day for King. Jeff Wilkins of the Rams recovers his own onside kick. What about the Oilers trying for the time field goal against the Bears? Craig Hendrick at the top, Al Del Greco at the bottom. Both field goal kickers on the field. Neither of them made the kick. What? In 1970, Tom Dempsey entered the record books with the Saints. Joe Scarpatti on his own 37 with the hold. Dempsey for the winner against the Lions. Good! 63 yards. Yesterday, Tom Ruin with a great job on the hold. Jason Elam of the Broncos drills this 63 yarder to join Dempsey in the record book. Congratulations. Well, years ago, Paul Revere and the Raiders sang, kicks just keep getting harder to find. Yesterday in the NFL, we found them big time. Coming up on the Toyota Halftime Show, we'll have the first release of the Bowl Championship Series standings. Score at the half. Steelers 10, Chiefs 6. Murphy, I want you to pick my wife up from the airport. Her name is Thelma. I'm Thelma. Really? Really. Camry's extra value package with CD player and six speakers and a power driver's seat. Thanks for the ride. No problem, Mrs. Burns. Who's Mrs. Burns? Did we mention anti-lock brakes? Thank you. The 1999 Camry. At least the road will be smooth. With Jimmy Smith's and only four more episodes, you don't want to miss this. Are you okay? I am okay. Are you sure? Oh, God. He can't stand up. Better boy, Martinez! What's going on? Bobby, what's wrong? All new Blue. ABC Tuesday. Viewer discretion advised. Halloween Tuesday on ABC. You know, I'm a lot more perceptive than you give me credit for. Really? Yes. Your tail's on fire. Yeah, right. A hot home improvement. Then... They moved out to the country, which made their father grumpy, the Hughley family. Home Improvement in the Hughleys. See you Tuesday on ABC. Welcome back to the Toyota Halftime Show. Once again, Chris Berman. Welcome back to the zone. For the first time ever, college football will be using a special statistical formula to guarantee the number one and number two teams meet on the field to decide the national championship. The new bowl championship series for blockbuster games to be televised by ABC starting New Year's Day includes the Rose Bowl presented by AT&T, the Nokia Sugar Bowl, the FedEx Orange Bowl, and the Tostitos Fiesta Bowl. Each year, one of these four bowls will host a guaranteed national championship game. This year, number one will play number two, January 4th, in the Tostitos Fiesta Bowl. Today, the official bowl championship series standings have been released for the first time. 
These standings to be updated every week will be used at the end of the season to determine the number one and number two teams only. Right now it's UCLA one and Ohio State two because of strength of schedule. Then there's a gap to number three Tennessee and number four Kansas State and a larger gap to number five Florida State and the rest of the top ten. The BCS standings rank teams based on four criteria. The writers and coaches polls AP and USA Today ESPN. The three established computer rankings New York Times Seattle Times and Jeff Sagarin strength of schedule and losses had the BCS been in place last year co-national champions Michigan and Nebraska would have played for number one on the field for more log on to the official bowl championship series website at ESPN.com or America online keyword ABC sports an exciting way to start the new year hope you will ring it in with us here at ABC now let's go back out to Arrowhead and join Al Michaels and Al uh, yeah, defense is carrying the day between these two again. Once again, and his figures, you know, the average score of a Steeler game this year is 15 to 14, and right now it's 10 to 6, with Pittsburgh holding the upper hand at halftime, thanks to a blocked punt. Louis Aguiar had the first punt of his career blocked by Lance Brown in the first period. Fred McAfee recovered. It made it 7 to nothing. And then Kansas City had a chance to take the lead, but Tony Richardson fell down, would have had a touchdown, had to settle for a field goal, and Pittsburgh leads by a score of 10 to 6, and Kansas City's frustration, especially offensively, continues tonight, Dan. Yeah, although I'm sure Marty told them to look, it's only a mistake on special teams. It's a reason we're not in the lead. Uh, Elvis is struggling a little bit throwing the ball. Uh, it needs a little better touch going deep. I still think a big play to Andre Risen is what this team needs. Well, you know, really, guys, when you look at it, this is Bill Cowher's recipe for success. He's got 103 yards already rushing at halftime. Bettis has 46. No interceptions, no fumbles. He has not put Cordell Stewart in a tough situation. So right now, this is exactly what they want. But who taught him that recipe? <laughs> yeah. Pittsburgh trying to do what they did two years ago, come into Kansas City on a Monday night and beat the Chiefs. Second half upcoming.